Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 30th of 2024 is titled Southern Moonscape. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a picture of the South Pole of the moon. So we're looking at the moon and we're looking again at just a portion of it near the southern pole. And there we see a large number of craters. Now parts of the moon's surface are very heavily cratered. And the more craters we see in a given area, that means the surface has been exposed for a longer period of time. It's an older surface. When craters are lacking, then it's a relatively younger area. Now on the moon, all of those are very old. The relatively young areas are maybe three or three and a half billion years old. The older areas are more than four billion years old. So all of the moon surface is old, but some areas are older than others. And you can see some regions here that are very heavily cratered. In fact, with craters on top of craters and lots of smaller craters around. Craters, as they wear out, get worn down by different erosional processes. Now on Earth, that's things like wind and water that will wear them down. On the moon, they don't have those kinds of uh, erosional processes, but they do have something we don't have on Earth, and that is meteorite impacts, and in fact, micrometeorite impacts. We see these as meteors or shooting stars across the sky, those tiny grains of sand and pebbles that never make it down to Earth's surface. But they are continually pounding the moon's surface and will slowly churn up the soil into a fine powder and will eventually wear down craters. However, it takes a lot longer for that than it does for the typical erosional processes we have here on Earth. Now we can also see uh, some of the uh, craters here. And in fact, the very young crater a little bit below the center of the image known as Mortius is very young and we can see it's relatively sharply defined compared to the other craters around it. Many of those start to look worn down from those billion years of micrometeorite impacts. This one still has a strong central peak where material would rebound at the original impact when that occurred and the sides are still relatively strong and fresh. Although it looks like you might have some signs that they're starting to cave in a little bit and start material is starting to slide down over time it will do that under gravity. So eventually the craters do wear out but on thing places like the moon it will take a much longer period of time for this to occur than it does on a place like Earth. And that's why Earth has only a couple of hundred craters, whereas the moon has far more and can fact thousands and thousands and thousands of craters on the surface of the moon. So that was our picture of the day for August 30th of 2024. It was titled Southern Moonscape. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.